Hey, hey, it's Ninke here with more Detective Pikachu Returns. In the last one, we did an investigation where we had to get Pikachu's hat back because a Corviknight stole it. And we don't know much else about that Corviknight. We just got back here to Tim's apartment. We were supposed to watch TV with our uh, mom and sister here. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, these were, These are the medals we received. They're proof of all the good work we've done with our great detective work. Keep it up, Tim. Alright. Cool. Hello. Yep. This is your first time in Ryan City, right, Sophia? Uh-huh. It's so busy and fun. I'm glad I came. That Corvid night surprised me, though. I'm glad you and Mom are okay. Yeah, I'm sure that would be the concerning thing, too, because they were actually in the crowd. Right. I'm glad you're safe and doing well, Tim, but... Heart, you hardly ever call. I know no news is supposed to be good news, but you take that a bit too far. Sorry, Mom. Alright, uh, have you been to Rhyme City ever before? Well. I haven't been to Rhyme City in quite some time now. Oh, you haven't been to Rhyme City in a while? Interesting. Not since I last saw your father. Gosh, it's been about two years then. Uh, so the two months before he went missing and then two years? Hmm, interesting, I guess. Alright, about meals. Speaking of Tim, which... are you getting enough to eat? Yeah, I stopped by Hi Hat Cafe for breakfast as part of my daily routine. The Hi Hat Cafe? It's Pikachu's favorite spot. It's so close that we... It's so close now that we moved. I've been going there pretty much every morning. Hmm... Maybe I should make some dinner for you tomorrow night, then. It's been a while. You miss my cooking, don't you? Of course. Thanks, Mom. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, that's it. That's all we have to ask our mother about. Oh. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news. Oh? What's going on? According to amateur footage we've received from a viewer, Pokémon appear to have caused an explosion. This explosion occurred in the mountain range northeast of Rhyme City. Oh. This may be related to the recent uptick in incidents involving Pokemon. Rhyme City Police and the newly established Pokemon Protection Bureau are investigating. Amelia Christie, signing off. Hey, Tim. Did you catch that? I hope that incident doesn't have anything to do with Dad. Same here. You too told me, two years ago. Dad's alive, and we'll be able to find him as long as we don't give up. Yeah, you too is still our only connection to finding Harry. Whispering to Pikachu, are you? Oh. You're just like your father, talking to Pokemon like that. Oh, <laughs> really? It's been two years since the R incident. Since then, we've solved all kinds of cases. The mayor even gave us an award for it. I can still talk to Pikachu and understand him. If the two of us keep solving cases together, I'm sure we'll find my dad someday. <laughs> for some reason, I'm like, oh yeah, this is how I totally dream. <laughs> this is what it looks like in the mental image. <laughs> That you, when you close your eyes, this is what you see sometimes. The wavy background or whatnot. The day after the award ceremony. Here we are in Rhyme City again. Whimsicott. Whoa. That's a lot of Whimsicott. Sure is. They ride through on seasonal winds every year. I hear they can be real pranksters. If they get in a house they like, they scatter cotton everywhere. Sounds like a pain to clean up. Yep. Well, the air quality is bad now. I can't imagine that being nice to breathe. The sweet smell of coffee is calling my name. It's the perfect Pikachu bait. <laughs> Tim. 
Oh, it's that detective. He's the police uh, inspector Holiday. Inspector Holiday, did you finally find my dad? Sorry, no. I'm here on a different case. We've received reports of a jewel theft. Could you lend me a hand with this one? Of course. The incident occurred at the Dennis residence, the mansion down the street. Sorry, but Brad is waiting for me. I'll go ahead and meet up with you there. Ah, so much for my coffee. Nope, you're gonna have to think on natural caffeine then. Okay, let's go, Pikachu. Wait a second, Tim. What for? There's no need to rush. You've gotta be calm and unhurried if you want to do your best investigating. Oh, that's what the police were doing earlier? The ones in the last episode that I was laughing that they just kind of walked off nonchalantly after when they're like, oh, let's go out to the Corviknight? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess that's true. Alright, Pikachu's real... Oh, sorry, hold up. Pikachu's a real talkative Pokemon. If you see this icon in the lower left screen, which is what I was trying to do in the last episode, you can press the right button to chat with him. Sometimes Pikachu will get your attention and a Pikachu icon will bounce, letting you know if he wants to talk. If you see this icon bouncing, press right to see what he has to hear to say. Look, I know we need to hurry, but would it really hurt if we relaxed a bit? For instance... Oh, here's a good idea. You could listen to some sage advice from a great detective like me. Okay. Oh, but Holiday's waiting. We better go join him. That actually may be very useful. And I actually will... Uh, hey, Tim, that's not the way to the crime scene. Sorry. I was just trying to experiment where I can and can't go. I actually will be mashing through that to see if I could get anything fun out of it. Because, you know, I like to have fun. Okay, I'm going to teach you some great detective tips. Great detective tip number one. Every single thing a suspect says or does has a motive behind it. It's a great detective's job to uncover them. All right, so we have to figure out the motive of everything. Here I am. You called for me? <laughs> huh? It's nothing? No, oh, you just felt like calling my name? Yeah, I do, Pikachu, actually. I act What the heck? There's something going down. What's this going on? Oh, bless you. Is it all the Whimsicott stuff flying around? Oh no, Hariyama's facing off against Polybrath again. Why does he act out like this? He's usually so gentle. Is something wrong? My partner Hariyama loves showing off his strength, especially when he gets tested against someone else's Pokemon. And since Polyroth is also proud of its muscles, Hariyama considers it its rival. Once they get start getting going, it's start hard to stop him. Yikes. Guess we better avoid that alley for now. Nope, I'm going to go right in. Wrath. Hariya. A Polyroth and a Hariyama? They're squaring off. You could cut the tension with a knife. It looks like a fight could break out any second. We should probably avoid this alley so we don't accidentally set them off. Oh, fine then. But can I can I do something? What would have happened if Rhyme City didn't have a great detective like me? Maybe I was guided here by some kind of inexplicable force. <laughs> like the player? Hold on. Got some dust on my hat. A great detective's got to look good at all times. <laughs> they sure do. Okay, sometimes he interacts with the Pokemon. That's what I was trying to experiment with there, but I guess that's not the case. Oh, what's this? Hey, Tim. No need to hold back, you know. Talk to me whenever you want. I'm right here, after all. Well, that's what I was trying to do. I didn't know if you were going to go on the fountain. Sometimes he, like, interacts with stuff. Something shining in the fountain. What could it be? Inkay. He's a little jump scarer. Inkay. <laughs> Very close to 
very close to my username there. Whoa, I knew I saw something. It was a Pokemon? That's an Inkay, Tim. It lights up its spot to communicate with its friends. Never figured to use those lights to lure someone in close enough for a prank, though. Yeah, it definitely surprised me. Inkay, Inkay. Hey, Inkay, maybe go easy on the jump scares, okay? <laughs> I don't normally try to scare people, but it actually, I, <laughs> oh, funny story. So, like, uh, there are a couple times where I do happen to, like, walk quietly behind some people enough to where if I, uh, go up to them and say hello, I'll actually, like, they'll be like, where the heck did you come from? And get all scared. So maybe I am this guy. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? K Inke! Try not to let your pranks go too far, okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Actually, now that he's out of the... You know the drill, Tim. Wash your hands and gargle when you get home. The... Do I... Don't forget. Do I really want that in the, uh, fountain? Alright. What's going on over here? Great job, Maractus. Your dancing is so cute. From the top. One, two. One, two. Maraca, Araka. Alright. Let's continue on for a bit more. That's what I think every time I'm playing uh, a game for video stuff. Related stuff. Anyways. How about a little snack for you and your partner? Great detective tip number nine. People who lie during their testimony, they usually look up and to the right. That's just something I personally observed. Hmm. Okay. But that didn't that didn't tell me <laughs> whether or not you wanted the snack. Alright, well, holidays right here. I appreciate you, you coming on such short notice, Tim. This way, to the crime scene that the Dennis read is it's up his head. It's up ahead. Alright, so we, now we have to go to the scene of the residence, which you stopped before. It is right here. Uh. Wait, actually, it's right there? Right there. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh. Oh, yeah! I'm in a great mood! This city really gets me pumped up. Apparently, I think that... I don't know if this is a collection for... for the game or whatnot, but I feel like that's something... That it was something in the first game. You actually could collect them all if you, like, repeatedly mash in different places. Oh, those guys again. Well, 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 if it isn't the great detectives. Yeah, it's, uh, McMaster and his... Minetric. They're kind of snobs. It's been a while, Brad. I see you're on the case, too. I suppose that means you are well. I suppose that means you are as well. You private detectives do love sticking your noses into every little thing. If Mr. Dennis hasn't requested you personally, I'd be asking you to leave right now. Yep, he's still a jerk. Think he's holding up a grudge from that time we showed him up? Manic. He says no funny business. Sheesh, no wonder you two are partners. That's enough, Brad. We're going to be conducting this investigation together. This is the scene of the crime, right? Yes, this mansion belongs to Jean Genevieve Dennis, a jeweler. Not a bad residence. Hmm. Mr. Dennis is one of the wealthiest men in Rhyme City. Under normal circumstances, a civilian like yourself would never have the opportunity to meet him. Make sure you don't do anything to offend him. Oh, and don't get in the way of our investigation either. Excuse me, sorry. He's just he's just got to dig get a dig in somewhere, doesn't he? Okay, Tim, come inside. The missing jewel. 
Was that a Smash Brothers logo? <laughs> well, we're on the first floor of the residence. Did any residents here? Ooh, is that a Lugia? Ooh. All right, Tim. Mr. Denny is waiting for you in the room to the right. Thanks, Inspector Holiday. All right. Oh, the look. It's a ho -o. Oh, that's a really lovely painting, actually. Can we look at it? The name of this painting is Golden Sunrise, and it depicts ho -o, a Pokemon with that is spoken of in Legends. They say it brings eternal happiness and that its wings shine bright with or its wings shine with rainbow colored light. Rainbow colored light, huh? The painting is sure beautiful, but I'll bet the real thing is even more breathtaking. Great Detective Coffee Note number two. The water you use can change how your coffee tastes. Okay, so don't use dirty water then. Great detective tip number seven. Begin every investigation by taking your client's word at face value. From there, forget your preconceived notions and gather the facts until you uncover the truth. That's true. I guess the client could be lying or something. Well, uh, it's hard to tell if they lie or not until you get the facts, of course. But you have to, like, think about it that way. Manic. Hey, I have a couple of questions to ask. Got a moment? Manic. Don't want to waste time while ch chatting while you're on duty, huh? Awfully stubborn, aren't you? You're even harder to talk to than Mitt Brad's main trick. Lieutenant McMaster, Lieutenant McMaster is currently interviewing Mr. Barnes in this room. Excuse me. I guess it would be too much to ask for us, for us to join in, right? I'm afraid we can't allow even the great Detective Tim to do that. Police protocol, you you understand? All right. Lieutenant Mima uh, yes, I, I got that. That I'm not allowed in the room. Okay, uh, I, I should be skipping tips that are repeated, of course. That's not the way to the holiday room of Holiday Mansion. Okay, I wasn't trying to go upstairs, though. I was just trying to, like, explore around here. You know what I mean? Quit playing dumb! <laughs> We've got evidence that proves you're the culprit! <laughs> yeah, did I scare you, Tim? I felt like practicing my interrogating. I'm sure you did, <laughs> Pikachu. Alright. Mm -hmm. The name of this painting is Silver Waves, and it depicts Lugia, a Pokemon known as the Great Guardian of the Seas. It's rumored to live deep down on the ocean floor, but no one's ever seen it. That makes sense. The ocean floor is not exactly a place you casually just visit. Yeah, I... I Honestly, this is my favorite painting. Dude. What do you think, Pikachu? Great detective tip number three. Learn from past cases. You may notice a pattern similar to a case you've solved before. Yes. Yes, for sure. All right. This is McMaster, or the guy that I'm supposed to see, Mr. Denise. Oh. Oh, Tim, I've been waiting for you. Uh, what's been going on? What happened here? Oh. Growlithe. Oh, you look sad. My name is Chanjeev Denise, and I'm a jeweler. And this is my partner, Growlithe. Growl. I'm Detective Get Tim Goodman, and this is my partner, Pikachu. Sorry to jump right into it, but could you please tell us what you know about the incident? Alright, about the crime that took place. Oh. A precious jewel was stolen while I was out of the house. It's called the Aurora Drop, and it's a very rare jewel indeed. The Aurora Drop? What a mysterious name. Magical, even. The thief injured one of my staff members and made off with the jewel. Okay, interesting. Thankfully, my staff members' injuries were minor, and yet... Is something sticking out to you as odd? Well, the police are treating my trusted butler as the prime suspect. They think the butler did it. <laughs> the, the, sometimes they say that the butler did it. Uh, no, we don't know in this case. Could you be, tell me a bit more about the stool and jewel? It looks like this. 
Ooh, that's actually really pretty. Most gemstones must be first cut and polished into beautiful jewels, but the aurora drop is said to be naturally formed into this shape. The way it shines looks like a bit of a aurora. Yes, that's precisely how it's got its name. The aurora drop has been the subject of many a tale, but it's thought to be nothing more than fiction. Even among us jewelers, the longest time we have called it is the jewel of legend. Wow, he wasn't kidding when he called it precious. Guess no one's, it's no surprise when someone wanted to steal it. It definitely sounded valuable. Where are you displaying it? I kept it securely locked in within this special reinforced case inside my jewel storage room. There are locks of both the storage room and the reinforced case. And yet, despite all the security, it got stolen? Alright. Who had access to that is what I would ask next. Cause not about the butler, but I guess we'll get to the butler in a bit. But, like, who had access to the place? Was it just you? You mentioned that the police already have a suspect. Yes, they believe that the thief was my own trusted butler, Barnes. Why do they think that? Because Barnes and I are the only people who can access the key to the storage room. Okay, that makes much more sense. What's keeping someone else from getting to it? The key is always kept around Garalis' neck. But Barnes or myself, if anyone but Barnes or myself take, attempted to take it from her, Garalith would start barking. My Growlithe is very loyal poke is a very loyal Pokemon. She would have never allowed the key to be taken by a stranger. I don't see a key around the Growlithe's neck right now. The police thinks Barnes took it. That would certainly make sense, assuming Barnes is really the culprit. Well, okay, maybe we can ask the Growlithe what happened to it. Maybe it lost it somewhere, or maybe uh, someone took it by force or something. Mr. Niss, if possible, I'd like to talk with Barnes. He's currently being questioned by the police. But you don't believe Barnes is the thief, correct? I've known Barnes since we were young. He's we worked in this home. He's worked in this home for years. Has always served as well. I'm certain he would never steal from me, and I couldn't possibly him imagine him hurting anyone. So you're saying Barnes didn't do it, and the real culprit is still at large? That's right. Someone else must have stolen the jewel. Please, help me prove that Barnes is innocent. Ah, so that's why he called us here. To clear his butler's name. We'll talk to Barnes later. Okay. So, finding the Aurora drop and clearing Barnes' suspicion. Those are the two things he called us here to do? Could you, please? You're the only ones I could count on. Our job is to investigate and reveal the truth. We wouldn't... We won't know if Barnes is truly innocent until we look into this more. Yeah, the police has must have some reason to suspect him. But we'll do what we can. If that's acceptable to you, we'll take the case. That's more than acceptable, Ten. Thank you. In that case... Great. In that case, may I start investigating the scene of the crime? Of course. The jewel storage room is just upstairs. I know you won't let me down. Wait a second, Tim? There's something I want to try, starting with this case. Something you want to try? Yeah, a case notebook. The writers for Detective Journal swear by it. Detective Journal? That's the magazine you're always reading, right? Yeah, that's the one. They researched the most efficient way for detectives to organize their notes. The solution they came up with was this... The solution they came up with was this case notebook. Sounds intriguing. How's it work? I'm getting to that. First, you open up your notebook. Alright. The notebook is the X button. Alright. How is the stool, Joe, and how did the culprit... Hmm. Okay. First, let's write in the notebook any burning questions that arise while we're investigating. We'll summarize the testimony and evidence that we've gathered up to our investigation on the page below. Alright, it was the stolen drop. Hmm. After we collect enough, enough testimonies and evidence, the begin deduction option will appear. 
When you select this, we can start deducing the answers to our questions. We won't have enough testimonies or evidence right now, but once we do, we'll be able to start deducing. I guess that actually using the notebook is the best approach. So, Tim, what do we have to do right now? We had to collect testimonies and evidence to figure out how the jewel was stolen. To do that, we must first investigate the crime scene. That's right. Let's go check out the jewel storage room. Alright. And this just is a pointed click. If it were on the 3DS, I assume it would be more touch screen like like the first game. I take it you heard from what Mr. Denise has to say? I'm guessing he also told you about his butler. He's definitely not pleased that Barnes has fallen under suspicion. It sure seems that way. In my position, I'm not at liberty to share all the information we gathered. But if there's anything we could do to help, just let me know. Thank you. Alright. Uh, time of the incident. What was the situation of the mansion? We're still looking into that. I'm sure we could get more direct answers by asking witnesses themselves. He's right. We should take this one step at a time and gather our own intel. Alright, how about Barnes? I was told Barnes is in the is the police's prime suspect. Well, circumstantial evidence certainly seems to be pointing in his direction. He doesn't sound terribly convinced. Does anything strike you as odd? Yes, actually, I can't think of a single motive for Barnes to steal that jewel. He doesn't appear to bear any will will towards Mr. Dennis, and there's no trouble dr financially. That being said, we may uncover a motive in the course of our investigation. But for now, I can't say anything with certainty. Understood. Alright, how about the Aurora Drop? I hear the Aurora Drop is an incredibly valuable jewel. The Aurora Drop's not just valuable. It's famous throughout the entire jewelry industry. Then there must be plenty of people who would like to get their hands on it. Could the jewel have been stolen by an intruder? I can't rule out the possibility, but based on the current evidence, I say the likelihood of a burglary is low. Alright. You know, Tim, we're really living the good life at our apartment. A huge mansion like this must be a bane to clean. Yeah, I can only imagine. That's kind of why we actually have uh, maids and stuff, initially. Can't go up there still. Can we go back in here and actually talk to the Growlithe? Growl. It's Dennis's power. It's Dennis's partner, Growlithe. She sure just doesn't seem happy. Growl. Apparently, she feels responsible. No wonder she's so down. Maybe we should leave her alone for a while. Maybe this is the key witness that we're missing. Oh, anyways. See, I have to press A to go up. Why does it stop me? Alright, well, I'm up here now. This room is currently being searched by the police. Uh, okay. Hey, Tim. No need to hold back, you know. Oh, look at the change Talk of scenery. Talk to me whenever you want. I'm right here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. You never know what might be a clue. Gotta investigate carefully. <laughs> All right. Feathers. Oh, what's all this? Pokemon feathers? Sure looks like it, and they're scattered all over the floor, and the window's open. Maybe a Pokemon got in or out through here? Do you think it has anything to do with this case? Hmm, look at this. One of the feathers is darker than the others. You're right, the other six were a lighter shade of blue. Hmm, something about that is nagging at me. Sure is. Hmm. All right. Seems like the residents of this mansion drink coffee frequently. Wait. <laughs> I can tell by the aroma. You were able to smell everyone's breath around here and say, oh yeah, everyone here drinks coffee. At least, do you know at least what type? Is it the Hawaiian coffee? The jewel storage room has been left exactly as it was at the time of the incident. 
Inspector Holiday's already filled me in. Please go right ahead. Yes. Thank you. Cotton? Alright, who will let the whims of Cod in here? Hmm. What is it, Pikachu? I checked out the door, but there's no signs of a forced entry. Then we could be fairly certain the thief used the key to get in. According to Dennis, this is room was where the Aurora drop used to be. Let's take a closer look. Alright, well there's a lot of cotton on the floor here. You have, any, you have anything to say about that? What a beautiful jewel! It's so clear and sparkly. Absolutely brilliant! Alright. Really? Nothing? I wonder if this tree has apricorns on it. A green jewel. That fresh green color reminds me of the forest. Just looking at it is calming. Sure could be. Looks like there's something supposed to be here. This one's a blue jewel. It's a deep blue, like the ocean. Got a kind of magical feeling to it. Alright. There's a castle and a thing there. There's a nice window right here. It's a red jewel. What a vibrant red. Like boiling hot lava. It's almost too bright to look at. I really feel like dancing right now. It <laughs> what you think, Tim? Check out my moves! <laughs> That's pretty sick. Alright. There's like a thing on the floor. I wish I could investigate the floor, but apparently Tim does a mana. This area looks more disturbed than the rest. Wait, was this sliced open? Let's start investigating. We might find a clue. Alright, don't let any details slip past you, Tim. Let me see. Let's see, where should we look first? Oh, there's a blue feather over here. Hmm. Here's a blue feather. Do you think the Pokemon belong it belonged to was in this room? Maybe it's from a Pokemon that lives in the mansion. Let's look into it later. Alright. Really? Nothing? Also, I think this zoom in feature was not in the first game. Hey, Tim! Check it out! It Looks good, huh? <laughs> Disguises are a key part of detective work, you know. Yeah, whatever. Now quit goofing off and investigate. Ah. He clearly doesn't appreciate my art. Perhaps I need to give him a little more training. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, clearly the uh, con was not impress that impressive. There's some con on the ground. It looks fluffy and soft. I better make a Santa disguise. <laughs> Alright, con in the storage jewel jewelry room. What's a bunch of cotton doing here? Yeah, you're no kidding. Looks like part of the jewel case. Based on the shape. Do you think the top half of the case is cut off? Yeah, it looks that way. It's a really clean cut. Do you think a scyther did this or something? Slicing it must be slicing it must have taken one seriously sharp blade. I doubt a hit a human could pull it off. I hope I didn't miss a piece of dialogue there. I wasn't paying attention to that. Alright, let's explore this case. There's absolutely nothing here. This is the only case that's damaged. Must be where the Aurora... Where they kept the Aurora drop. The edge looks like it was sliced clean with a blade. What kind of blade could slice the clean this cleanly through the sturdy jewel case? Oh, you know what? I wonder if the key part... Maybe Growlithe did have the key still, and it was unlocked by that key Pokemon. And then it, it was um, a Scyther that came in here with the Cottony and the blue feathered one. I was thinking Altaria, because it also had clouds, cotton on it. I don't know, it likes to sit on people's heads. 
What's this? What? It had a... Examine. The jewel case is still locked. Yep. Alright. Like Dennis said, the jewel in the case was stored under lock and key. In this case, the key to the case is different than the key to the uh, jewel storage room door. I wonder who has the key then? Right. We've covered everything I was wondering about. Any other spots you want to check? Uh, I don't think so. Not seeing anything. This is like an Ace Attorney investigation, actually, when you, like... Well, if you do it by switch. Uh... The base of the uh, jewel case is firmly fixed to the floor. Yeah, moving the base doesn't look even possible. I don't see anything else worth investigating. Alright... If you say so, because I'm actually also not really seeing anything. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. Okay, I just... No. no, 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 no. No, we're not deducing yet. I actually s missed okay, it. A... Let's start deducing. No. Right. We got everything we need. Yes. Uh, no. No, no, no. Oh, I just saw the prompt at the last second. Well, okay, never mind then. Well... We'll start deducing in the next episode. Pikachu is very impatient, but you'll have to be patient, buddy. Be patient until next episode. We'll see you guys then.